The church was once a place solely reserved for prayer and worshipping God, a place for Christians to congregate and to celebrate their shared faith in an afterlife. But now, a new generation of atheist churches have taken the planet by storm, introducing us to the idea of a godless congregation. Since January 2013, an atheist church known as the Sunday Assembly has been attracting thousands of members to its services worldwide, leaving many people questioning what the hype is all about. I'm Dave Chorner, a professional comedian and reluctant agnostic. And they didn't know what to do. They went, they went to the church where I was going nowhere near that fucking place. Bread and wine. Talk about empty calories. Right? I grew up as a Catholic, but after studying philosophy of religion at uni, I started questioning what I believe. I've always had an interest in different beliefs, and to be honest, I'm actually quite jealous of people who truly believe. And now I've been left wondering, could the growing atheist community be somewhere I belong? So now I'm on a journey to see what separates atheism from religion and to see what really goes on in an atheist church. But first, I wanted to get an idea of what religious believers thought of this growing phenomena. For me, it's, it's a paradox. Okay. If you, if you break it down word by word, atheist is by definition someone who doesn't believe in God. And then church is, for me, the body of believers who believe in Christ. So to put them together, it's a bunch of people who don't believe in Christ coming together in a place to meet with Christ. I got the impression that Jamie was a bit defensive of his beliefs and he wasn't quite comfortable with the idea of an atheist church. So I decided to visit a couple of churches in Harrow on the Hill to see what other believers thought of this atheist gathering. Well, it's a fairly new idea, I think. Um, I think it's really interesting that uh, people are wanting to get together like that. Um, it, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't offend me. Um, I just wonder if it says something about atheists are finding that they want something more that they're missing as atheists and that's why they want to do something that they want to call church. It's sad. It's just sad because they're missing out on their, their true potential. What, they're, what they, they seem to have done with their structure is that they're, you know, they're singing songs. They're, they're trying to replicate sort of an evangelical church structure. So I think it's complimentary. They're very much more just, we want to celebrate life. They're more humanist than, say, fundamentalist atheists. Mm. Just want to come together to have a sense of community that clearly is lacking in our society. Doesn't that seem a bit weird to you, though? Like, you can you could gather together in, like, in a pub. Why do you have to...? Well, I suppose it's the sense of, in a pub, there's no sense of purpose, other than perhaps to get drunk or to bitch about your work colleagues. Mm. Whereas this is coming together for a celebration. It's very much marketed as that. Overall, I was actually quite surprised to hear how open these Christians were talking about atheism. And the idea of an atheist church didn't really seem to bother them. Next, I decided to head over to the central mosque of Brent. Taking part in their prayer rituals, I found the community aspect is very important in Islam. And once again, I was surprised to hear that Muslims are also quite accepting of a godless congregation. So it's almost part of your call to be a Muslim yes. to accept yes. the atheist church. Yes. You have to um, accept it. If you have Islamic State, it is the job of the Islamic State to protect non-Muslims, to make sure they, don't, they do not get harmed, to make sure they don't get forced into the religion. Although he went on to suggest that a life without God isn't going to be a happy one. Without religion, without um, believing in God and without um, your um, commitment to God, your lives are always, they're always going to be full of worry, full of stress, full of problems. And you always feel depressed. I know I'm no Daro Brian, but I wouldn't say that my life is full of worry and stress, you know. I'm, I'm quite a happy person, see? It was about time for me to find out what an atheist church was like for myself. But unfortunately, as I was on tour at the time, I was unable to attend. So I sent my Christian friend Amina along to the Sunday Assembly Oxford to report back to me. Welcome to the third Sunday Assembly of Oxford. As okay. a Christian, I was keen to find out what this atheist church was like and what people got up to during the service. Hello, my big family. Jane told me how the Sunday Assembly gives her the chance to connect with people. 
I'm a atheist, but um, but I also kind of like because I'm I'm a foreigner here and I haven't got a big family in UK, so I try to I like to have the connection with other people. I could definitely see a connection there, and people generally seem to be having fun. But I couldn't get over the fact that it just felt like church. I mean, there was a sermon, a reading, singing and even a collection. So does this mean that the atheist church is basically a religion? Is it a religion? I've met atheists who say they are religious atheists. So they like okay. all the uh, community. They like co congregating, they like helping people out. And so they would live a life that looks like religion or they don't, don't have God. Yeah, so you don't believe that there is a God, but you no. still want to have that sense of going to a service. Going to a service, having people together, having giving me things to think about, having that singing along and the, just the joy that singing brings, and having mm. a support group that then go out and do other things together. Okay. It sounds like church. <laughs> it does, but you don't have to believe in, in, a, in a supernatural being or any other creed. Or... So the main thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to create the sense of community and uh, give people thought-provoking uh, talks without telling them exactly what they need to do uh, in order to live um, good lives. So we've got three mottos, and those mottos are to um, live better, wander more, and help often. Maybe there is something there. Maybe, that's a good, Very that's a good word. Very possibly, maybe, maybe. yes. <laughs> but give me the evidence before ask me to believe it, you know? I have to say I actually enjoyed the Sunday Assembly but I just couldn't see the real purpose behind the service. I'd heard about another organisation called the British Humanist Association Choir, so I decided to pay them a visit and find out what makes them different to the Sunday Assembly. It all starts with humanism, which is a way of living your life which kind of places ethical considerations at the centre of what, how you live your life. I think humanism, it's all about using your brain and experiences in life to decide what is right and what is wrong rather than deciding what's right and wrong because a text says it. Well that's enough fun and games for me. Time to report back to Dave. Hi Dave. Oh hi. You are right? Yeah, not yeah. too bad, Tom. Good. Thanks, I'm going. It's actually so cold. It's freezing, isn't it? Right. So anyway, anyway, how, how was it? Take me through it. It was, oh my gosh, the Sunday Assembly. Um, was it weird? It, it did feel a bit weird, um, but ultimately it, it kind of just felt like church. How, would, you, would you reckon it is something that I really should go and check out when the tour's over? Yeah, I think check it out, um, speak to some people. Um, obviously they're going to give you their perspective on life and the world and creation. As Amelia explained all about the Sunday Assembly, I was surprised because I've been really keen to go and gutted when I couldn't. But getting together and singing songs about the Lion King is not really something that I could imagine would help me spiritually develop. Uh, but maybe it was just me. And finally, I took to the streets of London to find out what the general public thought of the Atheist Church and whether they'd be interested in attending one of their services. I was surprised to find out how little people knew about atheism. Hey girls, have you ever heard about the, the Sunday Assembly at all? No. no. No, okay, so it's basically a church of atheists that all get together. What atheists? Atheists are people that don't believe in God. Oh, okay. So as a Christian, do you find it uh, offensive? Do you find it intriguing, the idea of having a, an atheist church? You what, sorry? I'm not into that. You're not into that? No, not what? Into that You're not into atheism? No, no. none of that shape, man. None of <laughs> How would you feel as an atheist about going and meeting up with people all to talk about atheism? It's not my, my part. It's <laughs> not your part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.